We are trying the new Zevia Energy Drink Raspberry Lime. This is new. I just found these on our trip that we just got back from. So let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Drifting on the ocean, sometimes I pass by an island, but there's nothing there for me. I move on as the wind blows, hoping to wash up. All right, so it tastes like a standard Zevia soda, that it has the Stevia pretty strong aftertaste. And I was hoping for something a little bit more, I guess. So I'm not, I, I'm not a, totally a fan. Um, you know, it's clean, it's clear, it doesn't have any dyes in it. It is made with Stevia, but I'm just not a huge fan of the, of the flavor. I felt like it needs a little, it needed a little tartness to it, just a little bit more tartness. So anyway, I am heading into town and we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm not a fan. The more I taste it, the more I don't like it. So sorry, Zevia. This is a no go for me. I'm not a fan don't like it. Ed and I just got back from going back to the coast again, but this time it was to celebrate our 24 year anniversary. So we just decided to head back to the coast. It's about a three hour drive and we have a favorite spot we like to stay and we just had a nice weekend. I got sunburned on the beach um, hunting for agates. So I have a really nasty sunburn on my shoulders and my back. So I've got that to deal with. Um, but yeah, it was a really nice time. And I do have a couple little clips from while we were there that I will insert. I didn't want to record the entire time. I just felt like it was nice to take a little break from vlogging and we just had a nice time. So I'll have a couple little clips I can insert um, from our trip. I think we did a little shopping haul. Uh, I found some things to try, including the Zevia energy drink, which I'm not a fan of. And we found some other things. So I will show you that in another clip. Hi guys, so I have a little small haul. We stopped by a health food store in Eureka. Um, found some new products that I haven't tried before. This is Italian snacking lupini beans. This is chili and lime flavor. So these have one gram of, to oh, hold on, let me read this the correct way. Five grams of total carbs and five fiber. So that leaves you zero sugars. It leaves you with zero net carbs. Ingredients is lupini beans, water, lime juice, sea salt, chili peppers, vinegar, and lactic acid. That's it. Very clean. So these I'm excited to try. Um, I have used lupini flour before in some of my recipes. So interesting. And then I found this is a new bar that I've seen a couple people try. This is called Good Fats and this one is lemon mousse flavor. So we're going to give these a try. This is 190 calories and where's my carbs? Total carbs is 14 and fiber is eight. And then I'm not sure how much sugar alcohol is here. So they're, they're not like the lowest bar, but you could probably fit it into your day if you try. And then I, I always have loved raw rev glow bars. Those are one of my favorite bars next to kiss my keto bars. This is creamy peanut butter and sea salt. These taste like the inside of a nougat, like a, a payday nougat is what it reminds me of. They're so good. So we got, Ed picked out the dark chocolate flavor of this, which I've never tried. I've only had the peanut butter one. I uh, got the cookies and cream good fats bar to try that. Uh, what I'm really excited about finding is the Zevia energy drinks. I've always wanted to try these and 
my stores so far we haven't found them these are really really clean if you have any problem being kicked from like the zero rock stars or the monster zeros or any of those types of drinks that have like the ace k or sucralose or anything like that 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 affects you this only has stevia it's very clean ingredients carbonated water citric acid organic stevia leaf extract caffeine organic caffeine and natural flavors this is mango ginger got raspberry lime i think i might like this one the best i, I kind of want to try this one i think and then we got grapefruit which i love grapefruit so i probably will like that one and then this is the only one i'm iffy on it's just cola flavor so i don't know if i'll like that one but we're gonna try it so that is my little haul so we just had dinner i had a beautiful cob salad um and now we're gonna go home and have a coffee all right we'll see you guys later and my anniversary gift was the new versa fitbit so i love it um i'm still learning all of the things that it can do um, but it's really neat it was a nice upgrade um from my my old one my husband's probably going to use my old one now, but yeah, so that was really fun. And this one is the rose gold and pink, uh, rose gold. I don't know what you call this. The watch part metal part is rose gold and the band is pink. So I love it. The other thing that I want to get, um, that my husband agreed to get me, which I was happy about you know for health is another exercise bike um the one i had unfortunately got ruined sitting out outside um and so i want to get another one and i don't like the new fad type of exercise bikes the ones that you sit up on the high on the seat i like a seated one a better seated i don't know what you call it but I used to use that and I felt like I got a really good workout on my legs. And so my goal, uh, what I want to do as far as my journey goes is my goal is to start doing weightlifting. I'm going to really focus on the weightlifting and um, I'm going to just tr keep trying different things to see if I can get the scale to move. Having found out that uh, my thyroid medication was recalled. So I probably for the last month have had um, almost little to no thyroid in my body because the recall was because the uh, medication was subpotent, which, and it said it had like 80 to 90% less of the active ingredient that was supposed to be in it. So I got really robbed of, of that that will definitely put a halt in your weight loss. You know, if your thyroid levels are really low, yeah. So um, anyway, I'm gonna, you know, hopefully get those thyroid levels back up to where they need to be and we'll be okay from there. I have several new uh, keto products that were that was sent to me to review and I'm super excited about them. And I love the fact, you know, one of them has really clean ingredients, so I'm really excited about that. And then the other one is, you know, kind of a yummy treat um, that I have seen other YouTubers review and they did like it. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And I also have a lot of recipes, a lot of recipes. I found a new product at Safeway that was absolutely delicious and I know I can make it so I want to share that with you guys because it's super clean ingredients super healthy and what I'll tell you is that it's a dip it is a dip so you can dip pork rinds in it you can dip vegetables in it cheese crisp it's a yummy dip so be on the watch for that recipe because I know I can make it I know I can so we're gonna do that. I have a lot of stuff this week that I really want to do. Um, now that I'm back home and we're kind of done with vacation mode. So yeah, I have a lot of stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Um, thanks so much.
for watching and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Um, I, I'm sorry that I don't have a lot of weight loss victories to share. I'm just like sort of stuck in this permanent stall. Um, and I mean, I'm getting my weight to go down very gradual, but I know the thyroid thing has totally messed it up. So I'm hoping that once that stabilizes, I'll start seeing some results. And I'm hoping that the weight lifting um, will help as well. So um, I do plan on sharing with you guys some of my weight, you know, my weight, uh, some of the exercises and things like that that I'm going to be doing. And so, you know, if you want to follow along, you're more than welcome to. And, you know, maybe we can make it into a challenge or something. Um, anyway, enough chitter chatter. I am going to head to Bath and Body and a couple other stores. I'm shopping for my oldest daughter's birthday. So we're trying to find her some things that she will love. So I will show you guys hopefully a little haul when I when we get done. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so here's what I ended up getting at Bath and Body. Um, they did have a sale on the smaller size candles, but these smell so, so good. This is pumpkin pecan waffles. And then I got um, caramel pumpkin swirl. And I believe these were, I cannot remember how much these were. I believe they were two for 20 is what I think the sell was. They're normally $14.50, um, but yeah, they smell divine. And then I got this really cute, um, this is one of those wallflowers you plug it in and that little candle lights up and it's so cute. Oh, I think I could show you right here. And then the scent, I can't even remember what scent this is, but it smells nice. But let me plug this in. Let's see. There we go. There we go. So that's what it looks like plugged in. Isn't that so cute? So I put this in my kitchen. Um, I'll tell you, these scents, I wish there was a way to turn the smell output down. Um, if there is, let me know. I'm not totally sure if there is, but the scent is just way too strong. I need it to be a lot lighter. So, but anyway, I just love this. It's such a cute little light. And then I have never gotten these before, but this was my first time getting their hand soaps. This one right here, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Oh, smells so good. And then this one is just Afternoon Apple Picking. It smells amazing. And then this one was really different, but smells really good. It's just blackberries and basil. So anyway, that is what I ended up getting. Just some nice little things to add to the kitchen and the house and make it smell amazing and more fall-like. So... Thanks so much, guys, for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I gave you some helpful ideas, at least on some of those keto snacks that I had. I have to say some of them were hit and miss for me. I'm not a big fan of the Lupini snacking beans. Definitely not a fan of the Zevia energy drinks. Those are both thumbs downs for me. But, oh well, you know, that's how it is. So thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new and you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. And you'll be notified every time I upload new videos, lots of new keto videos coming, new keto recipes. And if you are a chaffle fan, I'm going to link one of my favorite chaffle recipes for you to try. So give it a try. Let me know what you think down below. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I move on as the wind blows, hoping to wash up on that shore, and the sand will hold me. Blue, the water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true, so true.